Well, when you don't feel understood, the responsibility could be either his or yours. Sometimes you don't feel understood because you're not clear, clear enough. You're, you're not clarifying your position. You're, you're not making the effort to, to share with them. Or sometimes you're wanting to talk to him or her at a time when they're not really wanting to listen. And so you feel dismissed. But you, you know, as she was going outside the door to run someplace, you say, hey, I need to talk to you. And you start telling them something and they get frustrated and want to leave. And you feel, you feel frustrated or devalued because they're not taking time for you. That somehow this thing is more important than you. Well, if you want to be understood, find a time when they have time. Uh, and then share yourself in a clearer way with less distractions. The other side may be the responsibility of your spouse who are not making an effort to understand they're not listening well. They're preoccupied with other things. Uh, they're not valuing the relationship like you do. They might not even have as high a connection needs as you do. So they're kind of, whatever, get on with it. And you feel so hurt by the fact that, you know, they're asking, I said it once, give me the Reader's Digest version. You know, and she said, oh, how terrible. I was sharing my heart with you. And you said, give me the Reader's Digest version. Well, the point is, at certain things, they feel a little more trivial to one spouse than the other. And then, of course, get the right topic and it's reversed, right? That's really important to me and not her. And so I think there needs to be a sense that I will, first of all, work to be clear about what I want to be understood about and then make sure my spouse is willing to give me time and attention to hear me out. And after that, you got to just frankly pray that they want to keep the marriage alive and warm and are willing to try to understand you at that deepening level. Thank you.